my YouTube is Natural Me 4C, and today I want to share my skincare regimen with you guys. So I don't do very much to my skin um, because it has let me know to keep it simple. I have tried so many products over the years, it is just not even funny, and my skin has been torn up <laughs> over the years, but it's finally calmed down, and keeping it simple has been the best thing that I could have ever done for my skin. So here we go. Okay, so first what I like to do is remove my makeup. Now the makeup that I wear is Revlon Colorstay um, 24 hour liquid makeup and it is some strong stuff. It lasts through everything. So um, for a while I had a hard time trying to remove it, but I finally figured out a way to get it off. <laughs> so what I'm using to get my makeup off is coconut oil, organic coconut oil. This is from the Vitamin Shop and it's cheap and it works. So this might seem a little crazy, but I take a baby spoon and I take a little bit out of here. So I'm taking about that much coconut oil and I'm going to put that in my hand and I'm gonna rub my hands together. It warms up and melts immediately. So that is fantastic. And all I'm gonna do is start massaging this into my skin, just like so. And this literally dissolves all of my makeup lip gloss even my mascara now i do not have any problems with you know getting it around my eye area um, i do wear contact lenses i do not remove my contact lenses i probably should but i haven't had any problems with it so that is fantastic so i just gently i go kind of fast i'm not going very hard <laughs> it's just very slippery so I massage this in for a few minutes, maybe like two minutes or so, just to try to really loosen up all of the makeup. I would have never thought to clean my face with oil. There are several misconceptions about cleaning your skin with oil. Um, I used to think that if I use oil on my skin that I would get more acne and more oily, and I did not want that to happen. But um, it's actually the opposite. You actually don't get more acne and you don't become more oily at all. Um, now I have read that coconut oil has been known to clog the pores, but I have not had that happen to me. Um, I haven't had any problems using coconut oil. I've been using it for about three months. And as long as I remove the oil after I've you know rubbed it in and got my makeup off, I have been fine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wash my face with some warm water, um, just like I would, you know, wash my face with a regular cleanser. And that's just to remove some of the makeup and some of the coconut oil from my skin. Okay, so I know I look kind of scary <laughs> right now, but that is okay. So what I do now is I just take, and this might seem a little strange, but um, instead of using a washcloth um, on my face, I have been using paper towels, but they are, they're Viva paper towels and they're very cloth-like. So these are not, you know, the most environmentally friendly paper towels, but I only use one a day. Um, so. <laughs> so I take a paper towel and I wet it with some warm water. Sorry about that. And I remove the rest of the makeup. Now the reason I've been using paper towel instead of a washcloth um, it's because I'm getting a fresh, clean towelette <laughs> every single time I wash my face. Um, whereas, you know, with the washcloth, I'm either using the same one over and over again, or I have to keep doing laundry, washing washcloths. <laughs> so I just wanted to avoid that completely. So I'm just going to continue to remove, you know, the rest of the eye makeup and things like that from my skin. Mascara and everything. You can see my... Gross paper towel. Next, what I like to do is go in with a gentle skin cleanser. This one is Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. And I've been using this one for a long time. Um, it hasn't made me break out or anything. It's very gentle on the skin. It doesn't strip my skin at all. Um, so I love this cleanser. So all I'm gonna do is wash my face again with the cleanser this time to remove any excess oil that may be left on my skin. Okay, so after that, I take a towel and I pat dry my face. The makeup on my face is removed, but around my eyes, I still have some stubborn eyeliner. And this happens every single night. 
So what I do here is I just take a Q-tip and I go in here and clean up the rest of the eyeliner. Okay, so now that that's all done, I am ready for my next step. Now, I do not do this all the time, but if I'm feeling like I need to tone my skin, I would just use like a basic astringent. Um, this one is Equate from Walmart. Um, it's a compared to Seabreeze and it's for sensitive skin. Um, now I'm looking for a new toner. So I've tried, you know, a mix of vinegar and water and I like that one. I just have to create some more of it. Um, but for right now, I'm using uh, the Equate Astringent from Walmart. <laughs> I'm just going to take a cotton ball and I'm going to put a little bit on here. And I'm only going to do the outside of my face because that's the area that I break out the most. Okay, so now I'm ready to moisturize my skin. And what I'm using at night is avocado butter. Yes, this stuff is fantastic at night. Now you go to bed a little greasy. I don't take about that much. And you wake up with really soft, glowing skin. So it is awesome. So I just apply that gently. Now I go kind of heavy with the avocado butter around my eyes because I sleep on my stomach and the pillow <laughs> is smushing my face all kinds of ways throughout the night. So to try to prevent, you know, any extra lines or anything around my eye area, I try to make sure that that is highly moisturized. <laughs> okay, so this is how I go to sleep at night. Nice, shiny, and avocado buttered up. Um, it's not the most glamorous way to go to sleep, but it works. <laughs> I used to worry about what my husband would think, like, you know, if I went to bed like this. But now I'm like, look, I have to take care of my skin and he's going to be asleep anyway, so it don't even matter. <laughs> the only thing that I do differently in the morning is I just cleanse my skin with the Cetaphil and I moisturize my skin with, do not laugh, <laughs> the GNC <laughs> Vitamin C Moisturizing Cream. Not even a face cream, it's just like a regular cream. <laughs> but I use this because it works very well with the Revlon Color Stay. So that is what I've been doing with my skin and it's very basic, very simple. Um, it might be a little strange <laughs> to some, but it has been working fantastic for my skin. So I will see you guys very soon in another video. Take care.